Hello and welcome to another Beauty Box Unboxing. Today it's a limited edition from Latest in Beauty. It's the Sunday Times Style Indian Night Edit, September 2023. So Latest in Beauty have released two of these style edits, this one and the Sarah Jossel one. I decided that this was the one that I liked the most, so this is the one I got. The other one does look good too though, so it's worth checking out on Latest in Beauty's website. At the time of filming, they were both still available. Now this one costs £60, it's worth £310 and it contains 10 items. The Sarah Jossel one costs £80, it's worth £327, contains 14 items. Delivery is additional, it's round about £4. But if you're a LibPro subscriber, you should get your delivery free and I expect you get your 15% discount as well, which I don't because I'm not, unfortunately. So it does come with a little leaflet, but there's only minimal information and I have gone to brands' websites as well to check out more detail and also get some pricing information. There is some of that on the description on the latest in beauty um, website the boxes description but not complete so i've tried to get a bit more so the first item you're going to get one of two products they're both by the brand gino you could get the mask essential nutri comfort this is 50 mils it's 37 pounds on the brand's website they say instant nutritive mask with essential oils helps to reveal the skin's radiance nourish, nourish and instantly restore comfort it provides a feeling of relaxation due to the scents of essential oils, wild thyme, rosemary and lavender. And it also contains a hoba oil, evening primrose oil and avocado oil. So with that one, you apply it twice a week. A thin layer goes on for 10 minutes, removed with a damp face cloth, cloth even, and finish by using a toner. Or you get the one that I got, which is the Mask Dynamison Anti-Fatigue. Uh, 50 mil of this is £49, so it's the more expensive of the two that you could get. They say that this renews the skin's radiance, revitalizes and smooths features as well as moisturizing the skin. It contains mint and eucalyptus cold essential oils to refresh the skin, restore radiance and provide vitality, an AHA complex which boosts cellular renewal by eliminating dead skin cells on the skin's surface, Dynalift, which forms a film on the skin surface which coats and firms it, and Lift Firming Complex combats the skin's laxity thanks to its instant and intense firming effect, and also Hydrocyte Complex, which hydrates and provides long lasting moisture to cells, helping with dehydration lines. Now, to use this one, you apply a thick layer to your face and neck, avoiding the eye contour twice a week. It works quickly in just three minutes, leaving the skin more radiant, but they say you can apply it for five to ten minutes. You rinse it off with water and finish with a toner. So this is what it looks like. It's just a tube. Now, it's an interesting one to use. It looks like it's a cream sort of formula, but when you actually blend it in, it kind of goes balm-like. See if you can see. See? feels like a balm on your skin. The fragrance is amazing. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. I don't like eucalyptus. I can definitely get the mint. I don't think, I, there might be a hint of eucalyptus, you know, but it's kind of nice. There's a real refreshing smell to this. Almost fruity or salady or, I don't know, cucumbery. There's a cooling effect too on the skin. It felt really nice while it was on and it smelt beautiful when you come to get it off because you're just rinsing it does feel quite difficult to get off because it's got that balm texture to it um and i'm wondering whether that's on purpose so you do leave that kind of film on your skin and then i did use the toner after which i don't know whether that took a little bit more off or whatever but it felt really nice to use my skin did look reasonably good afterwards which is surprising because it has been a terrible time for my skin lately with all the dust in the house so i'm quite happy with this i don't normally like masks that aren't sheet masks i love a sheet mask these kind of masks i don't tend to use so much having said that this is a three minute mask it could easily fit into my routine um 
twice a week if I make the effort. And I'm going to try and do that simply so I can give it a sniff twice a week because it's really, really nice. Okay, next is a product by Shiseido and it's the Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Express Eye Mask. So this is one pair and you can get 12 of these for £71 from the brand's website. So it's probably worth around £6 at a guess. They say rediscover your most vibrant self and replenish skin around the eyes with Renewer technology for fast age defying effects and retinal vitamin A. The sheet, exclusively shaped for the broader eye area, adapts to areas most actively used in facial expressions where wrinkles tend to appear. The multi-benefit mask also visibly improves dullness and dark circles. Skin becomes brighter, tighter and smoother. So you actually use this one as the final step in your skincare routine. You actually put your moisturiser on first. And this is what it looks like. So to open it up, you sort of peel from the bottom of the packet and then these come out. You position the triangular corner, which is here, in the inner corner of the eye. And then the rounded one goes on the outer corner of the eye. Um, it does say that it's um, reversible, so there's no front or back to it, which is nice to know. And for daytime, you follow with sunscreen to ensure the effect effectiveness of the retinol. And I did actually use this in the day, in the morning yesterday, um, because I was going out to meet a friend and I needed a little bit of a help with my eye area. It was lovely to use because it's so big, you can really get it to work on the areas you want, which I actually like it here for my lines and also for my dark circles and bagginess. It's a great one. It just literally sticks to your skin. So you can go about doing all sorts of other things while you've got it on. It's fabulous to use. And my eye area looked really, really, really good afterwards. So I'm so happy with that. Great, great eye mask. Okay, the next item is by UK Lash. And this is an eyelash serum. It's three mils. It's £37.99 on the brand's website. And they say this is a powerful serum that targets brittle, short and sparse lashes. It's fortified with vitamins, extracts and peptides to nourish and infuse your eyelashes with what they need to look longer, fuller and more voluminous in 25 days. It contains biotin peptide, which is vital for healthy hair growth. Vitamin B5, which smooths conditions and supports. My wrist oil pentapeptide 17, which stimulates keratin growth, and green tea extract, which helps grow long, fluttery lashes. So with this one, you have to remove your makeup with an oil-free makeup remover or cleanser. You apply only one stroke at the root of your upper lashes, just like an eyeliner, once a day. One dip is sufficient for both lash lines. Then you wait until the serum has fully dried if you're going to be applying any additional beauty products and allow the serum to work overnight. So this is very similar to ones that I've had in the past with the kind of the little thin brush. It's lovely looking packaging there. Um, this is what the brush looks like. So if you've ever had one of these, you just do that, do that, and that's it. Now, I had one the other day, very recently, which was a, um, a sort of a, eyelash primer, mascara primer, plus with the lash growth in it, which I have been using and I actually really like the way that works. But I did try this one out last night and actually it was all right. Some of these, they leave in the morning like me feeling like I've got a bit too much sleep going on in my eye. This one didn't have that effect. My under eye area was absolutely fine in the morning. So I will be giving this one a go. Now, Hopefully, it won't do what the last one I used did, which was make this one grow more than this side. This side grow more than this side. Hopefully, that's not going to happen. But I'm definitely going to give it a go because I have seen adverts for this one on social media. And the advert is with this, um, with someone who has huge eyelashes afterwards. So it'll be interesting just to see if this provides the same results with me.
I don't know. Interesting to find out. I'm just going to pause for a second. I just need a sip of water. I'll be back in a sec. Sorry about that. I am back. Next is Sculpted by Amy Beauty Base. Now, again, this is one where you could get one or another of of the product. So you could either get the original, which is an all-in-one moisturizing primer that preps, protects and perfects, creating a subtle golden radiance with light reflecting micro particles. Or you could get this one, which is the pearl one, and it combines an all-in-one moisturizing primer and SPF 30 that delivers delicate pales a delicate pearlescent glow. They're both 50 mils, latest in beauty say they're worth 23 pounds. And you apply to cleanse skin using fingertips or a brush for an instant radiant complexion. Alternatively, alternatively, you can mix it into your foundation for a lightweight base with quick and easy application. To if you, you get this one, the SPF one, to ensure adequate SPF protection, use three to four pumps, which is what I did this morning. Just get that out of the way. Now I did actually. Um, I'm just thinking whether to put it on there, whether you'll see now, because that's sort of beauty bombs. I'm going to put it on this side so you can see how it looks. This one actually does contain um, hyaluronic acid as well, which makes it a lovely product to use. It blends in beautifully. I don't think there's not really a smell to it, um, but it felt gorgeous when it was going on my skin. And as you can see, there is a kind of glow to that. So I have got it on today under my makeup with another product. I actually like this box because the products seem to sort of all meld, is that a word? Get merged together nicely. They all go nicely. And I really like that about a box because the next item is by Aborian and it's the BB Cream in nude it's 15 mils you can get this size for 20 pounds 50 on the brand's website and they say half skincare half makeup this tinted cream enhances your skin providing an instant baby skin effect formulated with a borean's white ginseng complex based around a korean active ingredient renowned for its smoothing properties it cares for your skin every day it blends into your skin to even out and perfect complexion without caking conceals small imperfections visibly refine skin's texture, moisturise for a bouncier skin, and it leaves a velvety, non-greasy finish. It's also got SPF 20 in it to help protect skin against sun damage. To use it, you simply put a small amount on your fingertip and apply over your face and neck, working from the centre outwards. Blend with a finger or brush, depending on your preference. With this one, they do say to remove all traces of this, they recommend using a makeup remover oil with the i meant to say, i don't know whether i did say with the uk lash they say um don't use an oil-based cleanser when you're going to use that i do a double cleanse at night i always use an oil-based cleanser or balm to take my makeup off anyway but i double cleanse so the, the second one i use isn't so hopefully that will still work with this um and this one will need the oil-based cleanser to take it off. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll put it on top of this arm, actually, because that's how I did it this morning. So it is tinted. But it kind of blends out. And it does a beautiful job. Now, I actually tried this the other day and I was, would have quite happily gone out. I didn't have the this on underneath, actually. I would have quite happily gone out with just that, with no foundation, if I was going somewhere like shopping. Um, but when I go out to meet my friend or when I do the videos, I'm not confident enough for that, so I do need to put a foundation on top of it. But it does do a really, really good job. And it's something that I would... I would actually consider buying that definitely. I do love a Borean products for me. Okay, the next item is by Laura Mercier and it's the Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. So this is what it looks like. I think it's that way around. So this is a mini version. It's 0.5 grams. You can get a 1.64 
gram version on the brand's website for £26. So I guess this is still worth around £9. They say this long wearing versatile eyeshadow stick delivers effortless application with up to 12 hours of high impact colour. Pigment rich shades glide seamlessly onto lids. Its creamy formula gives you plenty of time to smudge, blend, line, fill or define so it's easy to create any look. It sets for crease and transfer resistant wear and layers easily over or under other eyeshadows, including powder and liquid formulas. And I have got it on today. Now I've actually got this already, but because my house is in such chaos, mainly my beauty products, makeup, um, I used to keep downstairs in quite well sort of thought out different things in different boxes. And I kind of recognized which was which, but they're all in the bedroom now. They're all piled up and it's really difficult to find anything. So I know I've got this somewhere, but I couldn't find it. And it was, I looked through a few boxes, but it wasn't there. So I gave up in the end and thought, well, if I have got it, I'll probably give this one to one of my friends. They won't mind the fact that I've used it today. I shouldn't think though. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Well, there it is, first of all, up to the camera. And on the back of my hand, I'm covered in beauty balms and creams and things now aren't i so there we go there you go you can get the the glimmer the sheen of it there and i have got it on my eyes today in the middle and it's beautiful i'd forgotten how lovely it was actually i do love crayon um eyeshadows eye crayons pencils whatever you call them and it's in the middle i have got um shadow on the rest of it's all shadow that's the only bit of crayon that i've used today but i really like it i've forgotten how much i like it so once i do find the other one it's going to go in my makeup bag okay the next item is by trish mcavoy and it's the intense gel eyeliner in arabian nights so this is 1.2 grams and available from various suppliers. It looks like it's around £22, I think. They say this is an intensely pigmented waterproof gel liner in convenient pencil form. It smoothly glides on with an even, rich, pure definition that will stay put from application to removal. Now, this is really nice. And I love this because normally I get bored of the fact that we always get the same kind of colours in our makeup boxes it's always the same but this one's a little bit different so i'll show you that that's what it looks like it's beautiful as well isn't it looks a really nice product and that's what the crayon looks like i'm going to pop it on my hand here and hopefully you'll get to see because it's a really vibrant sort of blue it's a darkish blue but it's got a real nice hint of brightness to it as well now it's quite a thick one as you can see i suppose you could get it thin i didn't manage to get it that thin on my eyes and the other end is this like smudgy spongy thing so you can just sort of blend blend it out a bit and i have got it didn't do very well there did i um i have got it on my eyes today i don't know whether you'll see the color so well but it is on there probably because uh, it was thick i've put it on the outer edges and sort of smudged it in what i would probably normally do is put a liquid liner on just to bring it up to meet probably in a black or brown color i'm not sure really but i've just got it on its own today i don't know whether you'll see it very well i don't really want to come in too close because i just look a bit dehydrated today i think um it's all the dust in my house is just everywhere in my skin in my hair everywhere absolutely everywhere all on my furniture but hopefully that will be better soon right so i love that though it is gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful color okay the next item now this one i was really interested to try it is by Shantakai and it is the a mini, so again it's a small one, longest lash mascara. It's four grams. Latest in beauty say it's worth £20. So I'm not I'm, I'm guessing they're right to be honest with you. I think if you wanted to get a 
bigger full-size version i think it's 66 pounds but again i'm not 100 percent sure on that latest in beauty say that this is a condensed version of their bestseller featuring a lash peptide for length and fullness natural waxes provide instant volume while the dual bristle brush defines lashes without clumping so i have got it on today and i loved it it's beautiful to use the formula feels so gorgeous and it kind of seems to coat your lashes individually which is just what i like from a mascara this is what it looks like so if i just turn that round and it it goes beautifully absolutely beautifully it was a pleasure to use so it was so nice i even put some on my i never put mascara on my bottom lashes i never have done um but because it was so delicate to use i did put some on my bottom lashes today which is unheard of but um yeah i really 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 like it great and it reached everywhere that it needed to so happy with that would I buy one at full price? Not so sure about that, but it's great to try, to be able to try it at least. Okay, the next item is by Lisa Eldridge and it's the Gloss Embrace Lip Gloss in the shade Affair. So this is 4.5 mil full size worth 20 pounds and they and the brand says this clever multitasking formulation function, functions as an instant restoring treatment, cushioning the lips with emollient hydrators and leaving them soft as silk. It contains key lip care ingredients, including wild mango kernel butter, acai oil, berry oil, sunflower seed oil and vitamin E oil. The shade Affair is an earthy soft caramel brown. This wonderful toffee shade has neutral, warm, golden undertones. So funnily enough, I had one of these in a different shade. It was the shade Songbird in the Hannah Martin OK box. So I've got that here just to show you because they are they are similar, different. This one's slightly more pinky, I think. And this one definitely does have a caramel look to it. So I have got it on today. I do love the packaging of these. They look really luxurious and gorgeous. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's quite chunky little applicator there and i have got it on but normally these things sort of wear off so what i might do is just re-put it on again just so you can see it fresh i'll be back in a sec so there you go it does feel really nice and um moisturizing and lovely so i like that and i actually like the color a lot more than i expected to so very happy with that one as well. Now on to the last item. Now this is the reason I wanted the box because it's a perfume. So this is Ormond Jane Evernia Eau de Parfum. It's 50 mils, it's 120 bands on the brand's website. They say that this is a modern take on a classic and is in keeping with their gender-free philosophy. The overall impression is of soft interlacing flowers, lily, freesia, oris and violet, fanned with the, the unmistakable aroma and tenacity of oak moss. Moroccan ro rose adds sweetness and cardamom a sense, an intense wave of spice. I can't say anything now, I'm too excited. Cashmere and sandalwood and must give Ivernia its underlying softness and sensuality, where on any occasion when you want to feel at your alluring best. I really like this. So it, first of all, the packaging was lovely. It came with um, a sort of cellophane wrapper, so it was all nice and new. And then you sort of slide it out of this cover, which is nice in itself. And then it lifts up like that. So it's like in a little presentation case with a little booklet with sort of notes in and then there it is. Now I have been wearing this. I wore it the other day and I wasn't sure. I think the more you wear this one, the better it becomes. It actually does have a memory attached to it for me. It's there is something it reminds me of from a long time ago. But it's a nice feeling. It feels familiar. Um, don't really know what it is. It could be the oak moss. There's something 
about it. It does end up being like a musky kind of smell, which I do like, but it goes through all sorts of stages. There is a smokiness to it as well, I think, and almost like an incense kind of smell. I'm not the best at describing perfumes, but this one feels like it's quite complicated and intense and interesting. And if it's one of those ones that I keep sniffing because I'm interested to see what's going on, then that's usually a good thing. So, yeah, I really like it. I didn't think I did at first. I wasn't sure whether it was a little bit too masculine for me, but I don't think it is. I think there's something that comes through that brings a sweetness to it. Interestingly, the flowers it names, two of the flowers it names, Lily. I don't like lilies. They're my least favourite flower and I don't like the smell of them. And Freesia is my all-time favourite flower. I adore Freesias. So it's weird. I'm not sure I can smell either in here, but maybe I can. Maybe that's kind of like the contradiction things that I'm getting from it. I really think I like it, but then I'm not sure. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So it's a nice size, obviously. And I'm going to give it a little spray just to have a smell of it first on. Well, completely missed there. Waste, wasting expensive perfume. Um, oh, yeah, that first smell. I'm not sure. It's such a strange smell. It's almost, it's, it's really, I don't know what it smells of. Can someone tell me? If someone's got it, please tell me what you think that first initial smell is. It's so interesting. It's almost like incense or something like that. Really fresh. I do think, though, as it develops, it feels like it is a really good one for autumn, winter. It's the sort that you could feel comfortable with at home, with candles. It's just got that feeling of comfort, familiarity. And I think, I think I really like it. I think it may become my main winter perfume the summer ones they're always fruity i love orange grapefruit to be honest i love orange all through the year but those are the fruity ones i definitely use in the summer and the vanillary ones whereas this might be a great one for me to use in the winter months okay so that's the end of the box now i actually think this box is a pretty good buy Okay, it is sixty pounds. I think this one, isn't it? But if you did, get, if you were a Lib Pro subscriber and you got your discount, I definitely think it'd be worth it. One thing I like about it is that a lot of the products did come all sort of nicely wrapped in cellophane and things. You could almost use them to for Christmas presents if you wanted to get some of the products for yourself, maybe some for Christmas presents. But to be honest, I just wanted it for myself. But I think it's a really good box now. We start off with the mask. I wasn't 100% sure whether I was going to, to like this. In fact, if anything, this was the one product in the box that I wasn't, I didn't, wasn't particularly excited by. But having used it, I really, really like it. It smells gorgeous. It feels refreshing. It leaves your skin nice. And it's a quick one. It's three minutes. You know, it will actually fit into my routine. Then we have the eye mask, which beautiful. Great job look fabulous. Um, I didn't look fabulous, but my under eye area looked fabulous afterwards. <laughs> then we had the um, UK Lash Serum. So this one, I, I did actually want to try this simply because of having seen it on social media with amazing lashes coming out of it. So we'll see how we get on with that one. Then it was the Beauty Balm, the um, sculpted by Amy Beauty Balm which was lovely, hyaluronic acid, so it goes on beautifully. It does leave that sort of pearlescent glow, which I do like, and it sits really well under makeup. And it has got the SPF as well, which is great for me. I would wear that probably as well without makeup on, uh, on a non-makeup day when I'm working at home, <clears throat> not necessarily going out. This one I would wear out, definitely shopping, maybe even be brave enough to wear it out going out, out to meet a friend one day. I'm not sure. I did really like that. Then um, I'm going to get completely confused. Now, I think we had the Laura Mercier crayon next, which was, it's, it's reminded me how lovely it is to use. So definitely going to put 
that or my other one into my makeup bag. Then we had the really gorgeous eyeliner where I don't know where that's gone here, but how nice to get a different color eyeliner in the blue, which I think is a stunning color. And it's a nice looking product too. Then we had the mascara, which I really wanted to try this and I wasn't disappointed. It's gorgeous. It's a lovely formula. I don't know whether I came in close to show you or not. Probably I did. I just can't remember. Brain, mush, gone. Um, then we had the lip gloss, which is better than I thought it'd be. And another one in the same range as I've had before. I do, I have been using that other one actually, so it'll be nice to use them both. And then finally, of course, the really interesting perfume, which I actually no, I've made a decision. I do like it. I can't, I couldn't make my mind up. I keep thinking, I do like it. I don't like it. I do like it, but I do like it. It's really, really interesting. So that's the end of the box. Now, I like this box a lot. They have released another box, the Trending Edit Volume 9, which I've gone and ordered, which, um, you know, it was £30 that one, so it wasn't quite as expensive. And it looks quite interesting, so looking forward to getting that one. I did have my Look Fantastic box. I'm not going to be able to film that, I don't think. I This is the only video I'm going to be able to put out this weekend, unfortunately. I've got so many things happening and... Um, got to do some more decorating and all sorts of things so this is the video of the week I'm afraid next weekend I might be able to get a couple out I'm going to try my hardest I'll probably have the trending edit one in by then and I've got cohorted to get out so I'll try and get that one out as well I might even have my okay box by then although probably not probably not by then um but yeah I'm going to try and improve things are moving fast in the house i think i've only got another two or three weeks left and then well i'll still be painting i guess so it might be a bit longer <clears throat> but yeah that's the dust has probably got down my throat but yes i shall hopefully be able to increase the amount of videos that i put out at some point in the not too distant future Anyway, I hope you're all really happy and well and life is treating you kindly because that's what you deserve. And I'm going to send you lots of positive energy to hopefully make that happen. And I hope I see you again here soon. Take lots of care.